on welcome to rainbow network media please kindly subscribe to this channel for interesting news thank you all for listening t views organizations tyo worldwide have vowed to defend their land with their last blood the youths were responding to the latest order issued by president Muhammad buhari for the review of the 368 grazing sites across the 25 states in the country. The youth organization pointed out that, that this particular move by the president has confirmed its fears and conviction that the current government is pursuing a war agenda to take over people's lands and give to Fulani pastor pastoralist and alleged terrorist it has invited into Nigeria from across West Africa and beyond. A statement signed by Timothy Hembao, President General TYO said, this is a classical case of deja vu and we are ready to be the children of our ancestors. The Sokoto Jihad started this in the 19th century and it failed. The Fulani could not overrun Thief, Thief land, and the progress we have made is enough to enable, no, enable us to hold the line of defense drawn by our courageous forebears, the youth group warned. We Thief Youth Organization, TYO, wish to tell Mr. President and all those anchoring the devilish occupation agenda that not even one parcel of Benue land will be given for grazing reserves. If a committee has been appointed to tackle the issue of grazing site, Thief land and indeed Benue State is not aware of it. And as such, a recommendation before has no application over the state. Raising sites do not exist in Benue State, and if cattle were allowed to move through to various places in the country and elsewhere, such routes are not are no more in our state. As a result of population explosion, the land that hitherto lay desolate has been occupied by various communities for their daily living and survival. Muhammad Buhari and his presidency enormously assumed that Nigerians can be taken for granted. He must know as a soldier that when push comes to shove, even the most docile people react the resilience of the thief which saw the defeat of usman danfodio and his jihadist warriors at us hung hills in 1808 must not be underestimated the manner a people have survived buhari presidency which has been fashioned to bring harm to our doorstep must tell him something about our staying power. No other nationality has been uh, hungered by the Nigerian state like what has happened to us since 2015, yet we still hold our heads up. At least we are still feeding, we are still feeding Nigeria as the food basket of the nation even though going to the farm has become a game of Russian ruthless. Buhari's kids and kin enjoying his support have haunted the thief like a game. Naturally, the thieves are in central Nigeria and while grazing routes can be established up north, they will not pass through Benue, and we are sure our brethren from the east will support us to resist the evil 
Jenny, that is knocking on her door. We know Buhari does not listen to superior advice, but we must know that the quest to divide our land to offer safe passage to his kinsmen may be the final straw for his presidency. We will have to kill every thief. He will have to kill every thief person to make it happen, and that will not happen because the world has moved from its frozen mindset, a thought process that believes in feudalism, religions, fan fantasies, and fundamentalism, and cows and other livestock spoke easily when blood uh, desecrates the land. Benue won't be such land. So guys, uh, the thief people in Benue State disagree vehemently with the president that they will not uh, practice or give any land uh, for any grazing reserve in Nigeria. They said they are not in support of anything called grazing. So guys, what do you think concerning uh, this news? Please let us know your views and also please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more updates. Thank you all for listening.